Hello folks, it is a beautiful summer day, feels more like October here on August 2nd here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So uh, I'm going to give you a brief tour of the first of our nature trails that I am carving through the forest here. So the trail that we're going to be looking at, it actually starts at Seahorse. So if you're in Seahorse, you just walk right out of your house and you have the nature trail right at your back door. If you are renting Blue Dragon or Hummingbird, there is a way to access it, which I can talk to you about when you get here. If you want to walk it, you know, without disturbing the folks up here at Seahorse. So if you want to have all of this right at your back door, try to aim for Seahorse. But as I say, we can figure it out. So uh, I'm in the process of building a long trail around the whole property. So, but for now, I, this is a short loop trail and it visits the uh come on my dog it visits the deer stand treehouse and the two springs along the way so i would recommend uh if you're taking this trail going counterclockwise going counterclockwise you're going to have a less of a hill to climb. I've done the best I could to make the, you know, to cut down on your hill climbing. I would call this, come on now. I would call this a moderate climb. I am a 63 year old. I consider this a moderate climb. So, uh, you will start off with the uphill and we are we are heading to uh, the deer stand treehouse. I've lost my little dog. Sancho, are you coming or not? So uh, if you do have a dog, it is up to you whether you want to let him off the leash up here or not. Uh, okay. So we are coming up to the to the deer stand treehouse. Uh, now I do ask keep this secret if if you have children, uh, I really don't want kids up here for all kinds of reasons. So that is the extent of the hill climbing. So here is, uh, you know, it's just a deer stand that the deer hunters use in the fall, although we don't have hunting here anymore. So anyway, there's a little chair up here. There's really just room for one person up here on the deer stand. So uh, very nice place to meditate read a book, whatnot. So you just got an idea. If you go counterclockwise, that is uh, how much of a hill you need to go up. The little dog has found his way. You're not coming up into the treehouse. So anyways, this is the view from the treehouse. Just be very careful, guys. If you if you come up here, please leave the alcohol behind and the children. Okay. So after stopping at the treehouse, uh, we're gonna head down to the springs so uh 
I'm in the process of building a trail about four or five times as long as this trail. Now I have it flagged. The, you know, the long trail is flagged with pink, with these pink ribbons. So if you know anything about hiking, you can still take the long perimeter trail. But it's just not, uh, when I get it finished, I'll do another video. Actually found a hemlock tree. I had no idea I even had hemlocks on this property. So anyway, it is just a beautiful walk. Now, do remember the Finger Lakes Trail runs. Actually, the Finger Lakes Trail is right there behind us. So it's easy to access the Finger Lakes Trail but this is, we're, we're literally uh, a one minute, uh, but you have to cross some private land. So you can't access, you can't access the Finger Lakes Trail directly from my property, but it's less than a mile to the trailhead. But this is pretty much what the Finger Lakes Trail looks like. Uh, is walking through the forest in the Finger Lakes. And of course, if you're here at Bugs in a Jar, you will have this forest entirely to yourself. Uh, so now, you know, so it goes, if you're walking counterclockwise, you're walking down this hill. And if you're walking, uh, clockwise then you you will be going up this hill instead of down but you know it's not that long of a not that long of a walk so uh i put in this one big switch back here to uh keep the uphill to a minimum and uh here we are, we're back down again. And so down here at the bottom, and, and now you, you also can directly access the two springs uh, without having to go up the hill. You know, it's a, it's, well, you'll see how far it is. So we have two beautiful springs here. Uh, I literally, have dug this spring out this morning so the the water's cloudy right now because uh, I literally dug this out this morning but in a couple of hours this spring will be ready to uh, drink from this is the this is some of the best water on the planet and so anyway, you have this spring, and then just a few feet away from that spring, you have a, uh, a second spring. This was the old well that supplied the original house that used to sit here. So uh, again, I... Uh, I just drink this water directly out of the spring, uh, out of the old well. So uh, bring your uh, nice little dog. Can't quite reach the water in the spring. It is dropping a little bit here in August, uh, but there's still about 15 gallons of fresh spring water in there. And so here is the, the walk back to uh, Seahorse. And again, I mean, you can just come down here. Now, I provide five-gallon bottles of well water, which is absolutely delicious well water. Uh, but some people just like drinking directly from Mother Earth. So this is the, uh, the walk to the spring. From, at least from Seahorse, it's uh, it's a, a one-minute walk to that beautiful spring. 
So if you are in, uh, if you're in Blue Dragon or Hummingbird until I get the trails carved out, there's a parking area right here, so you can get almost to here. But uh, anyway, that is the loop trail. And so with all of those stops, you know, if you're just doing the loop, you can do it in five minutes, as you just saw. And take your time and relax in the treehouse. And... Uh, Get you a nice cool drink of fresh spring water. So, anywho's, just wanted to share that with you. Come see us at Bugs in a Jar Farm. We will be here till the end of October. Bye, folks.